Thank you for joining the Introduction to ACT demo. In this presentation, we'll provide an overview of ACT, what it is, the solutions that we offer, and what sets ACT apart from other contact management and CRM solutions. We'll follow this overview with a brief demonstration of ACT Premium that will provide a look into key product features and functionality. So what is ACT? ACT is the best-selling CRM application, and it has been for over two decades. It's easy to use, and it can help you organize the working relationships you have with others so that you can operate your business efficiently. So what sets ACT apart from other leading contact and customer management solutions? ACT is now flexible with its license and payment options. You can either purchase it or use it on a subscription basis. There are also some flexible deployment options. You can install it at your location, or you can access your database in the cloud or even on your mobile device. Also, ACT comes included with email marketing. Inside ACT email marketing are intelligent lists and follow-up automation. ACT now boasts some rich integrations with productivity tools out in the marketplace. ACT can integrate with your Outlook email, and it can also integrate with contacts and calendar for both Outlook and Gmail. ACT also includes some advanced security and permissions, access to the global partner network, and even some expert technical support is now included. ACT solutions allow you to quickly tap into rich contact details, efficiently manage your calendar and sales opportunities, and send targeted email marketing campaigns from the office or on the road. You can host it yourself or you can let us handle the technical details so that you can access it in a worry-free, secure cloud environment. We currently offer two ACT Premium solutions, ACT Premium and ACT Premium Cloud. The ACT Premium solution is managed by you on your servers, giving you maximum control. An ACT Premium subscription includes Windows, Web, and mobile deployment options, a basic ACT e-marketing account, expert technical support, training options, and new features and compatibility updates as they are released. ACT Premium Cloud contains all the features in ACT Premium, but because it's hosted by us, you don't have to worry about the technical details. Plus, you'll get instant online access to ACT in a secure cloud hosting environment, automatic upgrades, and a nightly backup, so you always have access to the most up-to-date version of ACT Premium. Let me just take a moment here and demonstrate some of the basic things that ACT can do. I'm going to launch ACT Premium. Let's say that I was at a trade show in October and I met someone named Robert Eubanks. Well, I want to create a contact record in ACT for him because he seemed interested in my company. Here's how I can create a contact record. First, I'll click Contacts from the left navigation, and then I'll click the New button. Now, using the business card that Robert gave me, I can just enter all of his information here. What I've done so far is I've entered some of the information he gave me, including his title and his department. I've identified him as a hot lead and a prospect. He's somebody that I want to keep in mind for future business. And then I also added that he was referred to me by the trade show we attended. I'm going to continue and enter the rest of the information for Robert. Once I have all that information entered, I just want to click the Save button to save this contact. Now, while I was at the October trade show, I met several other people and what I want to do here is make an exclusive offer to them since they sought me out at the show. I'm going to create a group in ACT that includes all of these contacts. And even though they don't work at the same company, I can still group them together however I want. Here's how. I'll go to the Groups area. This lists all the groups that I currently have. But to create a new one, all I need to do is click the New button. Now I just give this group a name. Then when I click Save, that group gets added to my tree list. Now to add contacts to this group, all I need to do is go to the Contacts tab and click Add Remove Contacts. In ACT, there's two ways to add contacts to a group. You can do it statically by clicking the Contacts button and then just selecting them from this list of contacts. Or, I could add members to this group dynamically based on some rules within ACT. I'm going to try that right now. I want to add all contacts that were referred to me by trade show. When I add this to the list, that rule is now in effect. I can click the preview button to see all the people this will include. 
There are 11 contacts that I met at the trade show. And if I like that list, I'll click OK. When I click OK again, my October trade show group now is automatically populated by everyone who was referred to me by the trade show. Now at this trade show, Robert Eubanks expressed sincere interest in one of my products. I think we have a good chance at landing a deal here, so I'm going to create an opportunity in ACT to reflect this. Now this will help me keep track of the deal through the sales cycle all the way to the end. Here's how to create an opportunity. First you need to go to the Opportunities button in the left navigation. This lists some of my current opportunities that are open, but I want to create a new one, so I'm going to click the New button. Now I just need to give this opportunity a name. This status is currently open because I'm just creating it. In the process stage area, I have one process called sales, and it consists of several stages. As an opportunity progresses from one stage to the next, it will directly affect the probability that my opportunity will close with a win. So for the initial stage, I've decided that that makes it a 10% chance that we're going to win this deal. If I advance this to needs assessment, for example, that probability rises. I can edit any of the items in this list by clicking edit list values, including the stages and the probability assignment for each stage. I'm going to leave this one set at initial communication and the probability will automatically be 10%. I need to give this an estimated close date now. I think we'll be able to close this by the end of the year and I'm going to add a product or service to this opportunity. And add an item number and a quantity for it. And then I'll click OK. This updates the total amount for this deal that I'm expecting. I'll click Save to save this opportunity. And one other thing I should do before leaving this area is go to the Contacts tab and I want to add Robert Eubanks to this list. I'll click him, click the right arrow, and then OK. This now associates the opportunity with Robert Eubanks. If I click on his name, I'll go to his detail view of his contact record, and if I click the Opportunities tab there, it will reflect this opportunity that I've just opened. I can double click that to go right back to the details of the opportunity. Now earlier I spoke about offering a special deal to the folks I met at the trade show. I can use Act eMarketing to send an email campaign to this group of people that gives them all the details of the deal and makes it easy for them to say yes. Here's how to do that. First we'll click the eMarketing button in the left navigation and this launches Act eMarketing. From here I have several options. I can create groups, I can capture leads with the use of a web form, I can create email messages using my templates, but since I've already done those things, I'm going to send out an email campaign that I've already prepared. So I'll click this button. This launches the Send Email Campaign dialog screen, and I have to first decide who I'm going to send this to. My current contact is only for Robert Eubanks, but I want to send it to the group of people I met at the trade show. And I created a group for that already, so I'll select Group, and then click this button. Now I need to find the group. October Trade Show. Highlight it, click the right button to move it over to the right column, and then click OK. Now it shows I'm going to send this email to the October Trade Show group, which consists of 11 people. I need to give this email message a subject, and then select a template category. Now I remember that I saved this template in my huge sales category, and the template name was site-wide sale. The next thing I need to do is decide when to send out this email campaign. I can send it now or I can choose a future date. I typically like to send my campaigns on Tuesdays at 11 a.m. All that's left to do is check this box certifying that I have read and agree to the anti-spam policies. And then I'll click OK to send it. Active Marketing lets me know that my campaign is queued for delivery to 11 contacts and they're going to send me an email when that campaign is sent. Finally, I can use the dashboards and reporting features in ACT to see updates on the status of my opportunities or the activities of my teams. Here's how. I'll click the Dashboard button in the left navigation. 
my current dashboard shows my ACT activities, including my schedule for today, all the activities by users on the system, and the activity list of things that I still need to get done. I could switch this to one of the other dashboards at my disposal, such as the Opportunities dashboard. Dashboards consist of dashboard components, which give you detailed views and information about your activities, opportunities, and so on. These dashboard components can be filtered as well. For example, my Opportunity Pipeline by Stage. This is showing the current month of opportunities, and it shows the stages for each. But I can click the Filter button to change the information displayed. Maybe I want to see, instead of the current month, the last quarter. When I click OK, now the information displayed has changed. If I click on any item in that dashboard, it'll take me right to the report from the Opportunity View. So dashboards are really a great way to give you a wealth of different varying information at a glance. And that's about all we have for today. But thank you for watching this presentation. We've only just scratched the surface on ACT, so for more information about ACT, please visit our website at www.act.com or to get started with a free trial, go to www.act.com try or give us a call at the number below. Mm -hmm.